Hey guys, back for another video. Today we're gonna be throwing some jerk baits for some stripers. Uh, I'm out here today in the Delta, uh, hoping to get on some good fish. I'm trying to keep this intro short because um, I'm kind of a little late on the spot, getting to the spot. Right now it's upcoming and they're supposed to be hitting right now. So I'm gonna just keep this intro short and let's just get straight to it. <laughs> All right guys, I didn't have the camera rolling, but I caught this little large one first cast. Um, yeah, it's about first cast eight curse, inches. Man. First cast curse? You think so? I don't know. I'm just saying shit. <laughs> Smacked him on that red crankbait. I have no video. Crawdad color, I know. That's why I was like, this is kind of good for crawdad color. Then if there's crop, it's like this rocky, nice crawfish. All right, guys. Um. First spot was okay. Kevin caught a little striper. I caught a largemouth. Um, we're gonna be trying another spot because a seal came and scared all the fish away. We is what we're thinking. <laughs> as soon as I seal, we saw a seal. No bites. So on to the next spot. Oh my god, it's all dry and crusty. You didn't want to touch it. <laughs> Do it. Damn, I've not caught a, a striper since the. Oh, oh my God, that was a fish! Freaking took it. I freaking felt my whole rod was about to get. Oh my God, dude, that was actually a freaking nice one, dude. Oh my God, dude, that, that felt at least thirty. I'm not even kidding. Damn, it felt like a nice freaking striper. I'm so mad at myself now. That subtle action was working. Fish on. God, this one didn't hit like that other one though, man. Hey. Still caught one though. Species and an extra species. Yep. You know, this striper is not that uh this little guy is not even that active though. Like look at him. Yeah, I know. I'm like barely holding him. Alright guys, it's day two. Me and Kev only caught some dinks that one day. The other day uh it's actually two days after i finally got another day off um i really want to get a striper man uh, i haven't caught a keeper since we've been to that one spot in the other area throwing big glide baits and i just really want to get on some striper today and i hope i catch a 30 so let's get to fishing Number one, boys. Oh, damn, don't scare me. Oh, it's a smallie? Nice. Look at that monster, dude. Nice. Dude, it's on a bed right here, so I gotta hurry up and get him back in the water. He caught on a, he caught on a bed. <laughs> he caught on a little mega bass. Uh, trying to fucking get out there. I you know. Yeah. Trying to catch. Freaking look straight back to his bed. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Alright, there you go. I gotta get back to work. Alright, later. Yeah. Stop trying to catch the same fish. I'm gonna let him soak. I'm gonna soak. Oh yeah, keep them arms nice and cool. Get that nice cold water on me. I'm cold now. Do what I'm doing, hella nice. Dipping my hands in and just splashing my arms and neck. Oh! 
on. Fish on. Fish on. Little one. Yeah. But, oh, that's not a little one. That is, but. Oh, hey. oh. Nope, nope. It's cool. Yep. Nah, it's cool. Oh, 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 is that a keeper? That's oh. Big. Bigger than the one I caught. Ice keeper. Ice keeper. There it goes. Ice keeper. Oh, ice keeper. Ice keeper. Hey, hey, I don't know. Hey, Kenny, give me, uh, get the pliers, get the pliers. Give me the pliers. Yeah. Uh, I think that's keep. That might be key. I don't have my, my measurement. Hey, give me that, give me that. Give me it before you lose it. Get in the boo! Let's keep. That's key. That looks like key. You gotta measure it, though. Give me my pliers. Oh, yeah. You don't have a measurement, huh? Oh, you do? Yeah. You carry your birthday one with you, huh? Yup, that's you gotta be 18 inches. Let's see. Oh he Oh yep, he 19. 19 inches! <sighs> Sorry fish, your life has come to an end. And two kicks. And he's dead. Did not show it, but he did two kick. He'll do two kicks like this, and he's dead. And now you just pull the knife out. And then now you want to bleed the gills. So you want to cut the little blood clot that's in there. You'll feel it. Start cutting those. The knife not sharp enough, bro. Okay, I'm gonna wash him out now that I'm bleeding. You have to He's bled. Yep, so you always want to bleed your fish. Well, you don't have to, but if you want something that, that doesn't, if you want your meat to taste better, bleed the fish because that blood will circulate into the meat and it won't taste as good. So always bleed most of your fish if you want to cook them before you leave. And then wash them off. Alright guys, um, I just rode in my rod. As you guys just saw, I cleaned that fish. Um, we're going to head back home because I do have to go somewhere. And I'm going to meet you guys at home though because I'm planning to do a little catch and cook. I'm going to be cooking me and my brother some tacos today. Some fish tacos. Um, see you all when we're home. Alright guys, so we just got back home today. We're going to be cooking the striper that you guys just saw that I caught. I showed you guys how to bleed it at the river already. So now we're gonna get into filleting. I actually already scaled and gutted the fish, which is also what you wanna do. And I'll show that in another video and another catch and cook if you guys wanna see it. So let's get to it. All right, so the first step is gonna be to chopping this head off. So you always wanna go behind this fin right here and you wanna make an incision cut down. Just like so. All right, and get to the other side. And do the same exact thing behind the fin and cut down. Cut the head off, chop what's left of the meat that's on there, and then you're gonna get that head off. Okay, I'm gonna go set this head somewhere real quick. I need to go put it. In. Give me a bag, I'm gonna save this for Crabby. All right guys, so I actually got a sharper knife because that knife's pretty dual, but it still chopped the head off, so it's all good. But we're gonna use this knife. It's not really a fillet knife, but it should work. So we're gonna start from the stomach, cutting down to the tail, like so. All right guys, uh, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't really ever cook fish, and this is actually my first time filleting a striper. So bear with me. Cheyenne Claudia, she has to go over to her house soon. Bye. Perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
Okay, now you want to cut up the tail. And cut up the tail. Yeah. Alright guys, now you want to cut up the tail once you get it. Dude, you moved the fish so much. I'm not a sushi master, it's my first time. I will get there. All right guys, and that's the finishing product. Uh, that's all the meat I got out of it. The rest is gonna be used for crabbing. I'm planning to go in the ocean for some Dungeness crab. I'm gonna draw pots. All right guys, so I actually kinda already pre-seasoned it, but I'll put black pepper and salt on the fish. All right, guys, and then you're going to crack two eggs into a bowl. I already cracked one, and this is me cracking the second one. And then you're going to want to stir it up after you crack it so it gets nice and yellow. All right, guys, and then now you want to add flour to a bowl. And then I like to add salt and black pepper. All right, and then once you add all these things, you just want to mix up the bowl. You know, get all those uh, salt and black pepper in the flour when you prepare your fish in it. Alright, and your next step is going to be to grab your fish that you filleted. Um, you want to put in the flour, then the egg, and then once again in the flour. Because it's going to add a lot more texture to it. Uh, it's going to be more crispier, and it will fry a lot better. Just watch. Ooh, that's beautiful. Alright guys. This is the finishing product. As you can see, we microwave some tortillas. Uh, we have the fishy right there. And uh, my dad made some ceviche last night, and it was really schmacking. I'm about to show you guys what it looks like all together. All right, so after this, the end result right here, guys, I'm gonna make a wrap. So I got a uh, microwave tortilla that I ended up microwaving earlier. Um, I didn't get footage of it because it's a tortilla. But we're gonna put some fish on it. Just throw, you don't even really need to put it up. Just probably throw like two pieces on there. And then, you come over here. And then you're gonna take your ceviche that my dad made yesterday. So much. Throw it on top of there. Access the pico de gallo with some shrimp. And then, if you want, you could have avocados, but I'm gonna save that for later. Um, actually, I, I don't know. Maybe a bit. We'll do it. And then add an avocado. I didn't want too much. <laughs> a bit of avocado. Yeah. All right, you guys are about to see it. Um, that's the best I got. It was really good. Um, you guys are about to get the taste test pretty soon. Uh, I just want to say that was probably the best dish I've ever prepared. Um, enjoy. My tortilla is kind of burnt too. I'm just gonna pour it up and eat it like this. Oh, good. It's, it's sharper. Uh, a little bit of a fishy taste. But, you really taste the batter I did. It is the egg. It has a lot of taste. I can't even explain it. It is smacky. Alright. Please leave a like. Comment down below. And subscribe for more of these awesome videos. And I'll catch you on the next one.